Hi guys, this is Spartan765. Today I'm just going to do a video, um, just basically based on um, a personal, couple personal messages I've gotten from people that I don't even know if people have anything better to do than claim someone doesn't have something, but whatever, so I'm doing this review. As I've said in my other videos, I had the bayonet from my most and I got 9130. I just didn't have it in any of the videos. I got messages saying I don't have one. I don't know why anybody cares, but... And then I got another message, this is the main reason I do the video, is someone asking me how to put the bayonet on the gun. It's fairly elementary, but, you know, I can't blame someone if they don't know how to, because not everyone is gun savvy like I am. Um, this is your 1891 Mosin bayonet. Just typical spike bayonet. Very elementary, it's just stuff slides in the sight. Push this, I mean, this, push, this pushes up and slides on. So I will show you on the actual gun. I just grab my 9130 out of the gun cabinet. Okay. As you can see, I'm doing this. I'll try to do this as good as I can. Um, hang on. Let me let me adjust the light here a little bit first, so you guys can see. Um, just take this. Just slide it on like that. Once you get about once you only have like maybe a half a centimeter, three quarters of a centimeter to go, it'll start to get tighter. That's normal because it's twisted to hold it on. Or just it's tight to hold it on to keep it from wobbling. Just push her down. Don't worry about anything. There's a spring-loaded um, locking piece in here. Then twist the blade counterclockwise. Just keep twisting it counterclockwise. Just like that. And you should see the little piece right there will come down. I mean, you can just give it a nice good twist. It doesn't have to come down all the way. Don't take a wrench at your gun to get it to. Come down maybe about halfway, a quarter of the way. That's normal. That is just a self-adjusting piece for if this gets loose inside of here. This bayonet was never used. That's why, you know, it's still tight. This is made for, It's the reason it's like this is for in combat. When this is put on and taken off, naturally steel of the bayonet rubs off. That's why this spring-loaded piece here is kind of curved at an angle. So when that happens, this pushes down more and more to keep it tight on there. Taking off is the hard part. Um, what you want to make sure you do is always keep your bayonet sleeve inside here clean and the end of your barrel if you put it on. If you put it on with dirt, dust, and crap like that in there, you're never going to get it. You're going to get off. It's going to be real hard. Um, just to get it off normally if your barrels clean which most of the time it is since obviously these most of you probably aren't taking these into combat this is probably just your fun recreational shooting also not push up just give it a twist she's gonna get kind of hard there It's kind of hard to get at a grab at it the way I normally do with the camera, but okay, you just push this twist and it. Okay, I'm just gonna take it out now. There you go. It, I, I had to grab it a certain way that you guys couldn't see because that's a comfortable way to grab it and get it off. Twist it so it's like this right in front of the side. Grab it right here and pull off. That's it. Bayonet Spartan 765 out.